Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to install universal project management software that is Rukovo Detail, your way, your rules, software on Ubuntu 16.04. Now before we deep dive into the installation part of Rukovo Detail, a project management software on Ubuntu 16.04, let us first of all get ourselves aware regarding what is Rukovo Detail project management software. Unlike traditional tools, Rukovo Detail expands the approach to project management allowing you to create your own application the most suitable for your activity. It is divided into standard part and the extension. In the standard part, you will find tools for designing and configuring your application and the extension includes reports and tools for more effectively data management. And if you want to read more, you can click over here. This You can find the uh, website that is rukovidetail.net and you can add more features and details and relationships between all your entities. It's a free project management software, which means that it is requiring some LAMP uh, that is Linux, Apache, MySQL and PHP and it is also available online and it's a good project management software for your company. So if I click on the features, you can click on standard features. You can find that you can extend your application, create your necessary fields, configure your views, use your comments, create reports, configure access, data export, data import, user notification, multilingual, related reports, easy search and filters, and even some more skins. And if I click on the features and I click on extensions, you can find more features over there. You can find over here that is multiple update, common reports, complex calculations, chart and graphs, calendar, can chart, info pages, time tracking and timer reports and templates. So apart from MS project which is a project management software which is a part of MS office, Rukova Detail project management software is also very good as compared to you can say project management and it is free and web based open source software. You can create your account and you can even donate and you can even uh, by extension you can even download the demo. So let us now deep dive into your Ubuntu 16.04 where I will be demonstrating how to install and configure Rukova Detail project management software on Ubuntu 16.04. So let us go into your Ubuntu machine so you can see that it is a fresh Ubuntu machine and let us log in with the root first of all. So let us type this command su space minus and let me get the password so now you can see that the root has logged in. So the first thing, the first obvious step is to update the system so let us give this command apt hyphen get update and before it updates you can see that all these steps are being written over here so you have to just uh, copy paste all these steps over here and uh, you will be not finding any problem into installing Rukova Detail into Ubuntu 16.04. So we will be downloading the latest version that is 1.7.1 .1 in a zip form which is the Linux based and it is free to use. So you can see that it has been updated. So now what we have to do is to install the MariaDB server. So don't install the LAMP server as such install one by one. So we are going to the step two that we are installing the MariaDB. So don't install MySQL because MySQL will not be working with Rukova Detail. So you can see that it is going to download 15.8 MB of archives and 142 MB of disk space will be required. So depending on your net connection, it will not take much time. So after that, we will be starting and enabling the MySQL that is the MariaDB. So you can see that it is started downloading. So it will not take much time. It is fast. So after that we will be starting and enabling the services of our database and then we will be putting some queries and we will be opening the backend and then we will be proceeding towards the web server that is Apache web server. So it is downloading the client part, the client core. So Rukovi Detail is uh, one of the most popular project management software. So if you are a good startup company or uh, you are not uh, satisfied with your current project management software and if you want to develop your own project management software, so before going with our own development or the customized development, I do recommend all of you that you please give this a shot. It's a very, very good software and very easy to use also. That I will be demonstrating then uh, we will be installing finishing. So almost there, we are on the verge of download of the MariaDB server. So you can see that it has downloaded and it is unpacking and now it will be installing. So it is setting up the MariaDB server, the client as well as the server core. 
as well as the library files are also being set up so let's wait and I am using Ubuntu 16.04 which is a 64-bit edition so make it sure that you use so let us uh, type this command to enable MySQL which will be same for MariaDB as well so let's paste it <coughs> and let's enable this also and now what you have to do is to go with this command that is MySQL underscore secure underscore installation so enter the current password of the root so do you want to change the password so press no remove anonymous user press Y disallow root login remotely press Y and remove test bases and access it press Y reload privileged database tables press Y and now you can see that it is configured and now we are all set to log in and we should create the database for root over detail so MySQL space minus U root space minus P so now you can see that MariaDB is being logged in so let's give these commands so create database root over detail so let's paste it and now you can see that the query is being affected so let us grant all the privileges to Rukovi Detail to Rukovi Detail user and it is identified by Anand Anand is the password so it is affected the query so let us flush the privileges and now exit so you can say that the database part has been completed and now we move to the next part in which we will be installing the Apache web server so apt-get install Apache 2 space minus y so it will be downloading the apache package as well as all its libraries and it will be installing it so if you go with the proper steps it will not be finding any problem in that So you can see that it has been downloaded and now it is processing some triggers and enabling the websites and Apache server. So let's wait. Yes. So now you can see that it has been configured. So now the next part is that we have to install PHP and PHP extensions. Because why? Whole of the package is being written into PHP and we require the MySQL so that's why we are doing it. So this command will include all the PHP that is 7.0 as well as the libraries which are being required or the extensions which we can say so let's paste the whole command and I'm using the latest PHP that is 7.0 so you can see that it is uh, requiring about 4 MB of download and 16 MB will be using as disk space for installation part and after that we will be enabling Apache 2 and then we are all set to download and configure Ruko Vidital project management software so not much time will be required and it is unpacking now and it is creating the config files so let us enable the module for uh, Apache 2 so now you can see that it is enabling module PHP yes we are all done so now let us give this command a2 and mod rewrite and now let us go with this command service apache2 restart and now what we have to do is to go with the step a that is downloading and configuring so give this command wget in which we will be using that is sourceforge.net slash project with this file we should download this file so that we can be able to download and install so you can see that it has established the connection with downloads.sourceforge.net and it is downloading so you can see that it is about 19 MB of download size so depending on your net connection it will not take much time okay so let's press ls you can see that the rukovi detail has been installed and now what we have to do is to unzip And now let's ls so you can see that the folder has been there so let's move this folder to slash var slash www slash rukovi detail so let's paste this and now what we have to do is to change the permissions so that we should not find accessing the front end so let me clear this now and now what we have to do is to create one file 
and after that we will be putting up the configurations so another command is there so if you follow steps you can see everything is going fit and fine no problem will be there otherwise very easy to install so before we go with the nano so let us first of all take the IP address of this machine because it is required so you can see that the IP address is 192.168.117.203 that is 203 over here okay so now let us uh, type this command and after that we will be following up with some script so you have to type the following script so depending on your IP address you will be requiring that so I am having this So let us first of all set it. So admin at the rate Ubuntu, document root, and under server name, let us change the IP address that is 192.168.117.203. Okay. Server list will be Ubuntu, directory, options, allow override, directory, error log, and custom log, and slash virtual host. So everything has been set up and set, fit and fine. So let us press Ctrl X yes and press enter so now what we have to do is to restart the web server that is service apache 2 restart so now what we have to do is to go to the web browser and type the IP address of this machine so let us do that so let's type the IP address so 192.168 okay dot 117.203 dot and yes you can see that the Roku Vtitle 1.7.1 has been installed and we have come with the installation web page so click on English so click or you can see that the environment check no errors found and you can install Roku Vtitle which means everything is put in fine so click on database config so database port which I have written over here you can see it is 3306 and we will be using that the same database commands that we have that is Roku Vtitle etc so let me type uh, copy this name so that I should not make any mistake Okay, so database port will be 3306. Database name will be Rukovi Detail. Rukovi Detail. Okay, so this is the database name. So let me copy this with the username and the password as my name. So click on install database. So general application, let me take one application that is Anand short name of application can be basic time zone let me select it that is Asia and Kolkata where I'm living okay there we got so username let us take this username and take this email ID so click on install so you can see that it has installed so let us log in so with the username Ruko detail okay so oh. yes so now you can see that I have logged in with my password and now here are the projects which you can apply you can see the users here is the administrator which I have created with my name Anand so make it sure that the new administrator is created over there so here are the standard reports you can click on configuration the applications the user groups and even you can connect it with your LDAP that is lightweight directory access protocol and here are the tools that is import data database backup and even the support so you can even contact us you can find every information over here and here is the dashboard so a very cool software and now what we have to do is to remove the install folder by issuing this command so give this command yes so now you can see that I can uh, let me log off and let me log in so here is the dashboard so you can click on this default skin fixed you can do anything okay so you can ch change the skin also you can click on projects so everything is working fit and fine so in this video I have demonstrated how to install Ruko Vidital open source project management software uh, on Ubuntu 16.04 so do give this a shot do like this video do share with your friends and I always recommend that uh, do please give a good uh, clarity or you can say stress over the open source softwares before you go with some commercial or even you go with your own customized software so all the best thank you so much for watching the video